right to the rocks. Then I make that shit back. Run up on me, get shot in the back. It's just gonna put it for the discussion of that. Very right. That is the guy. Pops, today we, we back out West Pops, and today we got Stockton versus EBK. California's hottest rap group. group. R.P. Sloby, word, rest in peace, Sloby. Right? Rest in peace, rest in peace, Sloby. Young Sloby, man. Um, we just did a reaction to that young brother. Lonely um, Gangster. Yeah, Lonely Gangster. Check that out, man. That's pretty cool. No, yeah, that was fire. Um, yeah, let's see how he passed away and like the story of EBK, right? Because we don't really know about Stockton. We, we don't, don't know about Sacramento. Yeah, we don't know what's about EBK and what happened and who's who and what's what. It's your first time tuning in. This is the only channel where you have fun. Not literally. We bring up information. We discuss it, you know, <laughs> subscribe to the channel, request the content, and then we react. We're here to keep hip-hop alive. We have a Discord below. Do that up. You're also on uh, Instagram, Javen TV. I'm Pops on Instagram, reacts. Pops React. Follow you us. can DM me if you're bored. <laughs> DM him if you want to do some business. We can advertise oh, yeah. your music or something. Yeah, something like that. Pay React or something like that. But is that right to it? Yes. No more talking. Swamp Story. This time we head to Stockton, California. But wait, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't Jeremy already. Jeremy TV, like and subscribe. Stockton! Share this video! If you're not from Northern California, you may not be familiar with Stockton, so let me break it down for you. Stockton is about an hour east of the Bay Area, and about 30 minutes south of Sacramento. Oh, it's only 30 no minutes! To go to Stockton. Okay, so 30 minutes from Sacramento. That's why they be politicking with the Sac homies and all that. Yeah, yeah, that's... that's so that's like close. from... Yeah, that's like from New York City to like... Yonkers. To Jersey. Well, yeah, it's a Jersey. I said like New York City to New yeah, Jersey. Yeah, yeah, it depends. Yeah, yeah. All right, that makes sense. Share this video with one of your friends. Let them know that we even exist. In about three <laughs> minutes south of Sacramento, there is absolutely no reason to go to Stockton. <laughs> Ooh, let's go to Stockton today is a sentence that nobody has ever oh, said. Oh, wow. Trust me, there's nothing to do there. Look at it. Like seriously, nothing. On top of yeah, that, I should have like the Breaking Bad scenes and all that wow. with the RVs in a desert. I mean, why my man going in on Stockton? It can't be that bad. Let us know. Is Stockton that bad? Yeah, is Stockton that bad, man. Are you from Let's Stockton? Let's go to Do Stockton. That's a sentence no one said, though. What kind of shit is that? that oh, boy, it's foul. Yeah, you're not ready shoot. for this. Is it grimy? <laughs> Hot, dry, and dangerous. <laughs> Stockton is the last place that Bay Waters flow to, so it became a port city. It's surrounded by farms, so the city grew because ships would come pick up the produce, then bring it down the river to the Bay Area. Mm. Times have changed though, and humans have evolved, so Stockton doesn't really have an industry anymore. Oh, wow. It's actually the largest city in American history to file for bankruptcy protection. In 2012, the city went completely... It's the largest city to go bankrupt. How big is the city then? Because they... A city has never... Do you know any cities that went bankrupt? Is that even a thing? I heard of towns going backward, but not an entire freaking city. Imagine New York City getting... Hold up! Bank. Wait a minute! Well, a lot of these these West Coast and a lot of these other cities about to go bankrupt. They keep playing with all these robberies. You know, it's targets... People leave. People are, targets is leaving Chicago and a lot of inner cities because they're stealing stuff and yeah, they can't yeah, do nothing yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, because they're not allowed... Because uh, Target got like a policy where they let you steal up to $1,000 worth of stuff. They don't call... They have a no... Don't call the cop policy. In New York City, you can steal up to like 500 I think. <laughs> Or they're not, they're not condoning yeah. the, the go steal money. It's so go in these go in these places and steal. Fuck it. Hurry up and buy. From Jerry TV and Pops. Hurry up and buy. He bankrupt and couldn't even pay its employees until they got saved by the federal government. Wow. It was bad. Not to mention that Stockton has the highest foreclosure rate in the U.S. Let's say you come home from work, your house has been burglarized, and you find the front door open, but the house is safe, it's been ransacked. Uh, there's a good chance that you won't get a uniformed officer at that call. Oh my God. While the fight goes on, the people of Stockton continue to struggle. More and more people are showing up for food giveaway programs and free meals. Even though their economy has been bad for a while now, Stockton is one of the fastest growing cities in the country. Mm. Wait, wait, wait. So you mean to tell me that people are moving to this city where there's no jobs, a bad economy, and no attraction? Why? Yes, that's exactly what is happening. The Bay Area has gotten more and more expensive over the last 20 yeah. years, which has caused gentrification. All these lower income families have been- Yeah, that is true. Like stock. San Francisco is getting more expensive than like New York City at this point, I think. Uh, it's bad. Like it's no, bad. It's way bro. more expensive. San Francisco has the highest rent. Yeah, is it, didn't we watch Last Chance You together? Mm -hmm. And we were, they were explaining how, like, the base so bad, like... Yeah, and last time, they was talking about that. Also, yeah, when they covered San Francisco, it. the property has dropped. Because really? like, the average was, like... I read an article yesterday, $1.6 million per home or something. Now it's, like, 1.3. It's, like, the biggest drop. Wow. Got 25% drop or something. So what's going to happen? Like, are people going to just move to these cities and they... 
people with money like so what happens is you have people who have money who come from affluent families yeah. and they'll buy apartments or rent them out and it's half the time they don't even live there mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so they take up space they buy these condos and they're empty but is that many people who go for billion dollar condos a lot of people got a lot of money man yeah like, there's a lot of old money. money like that old slavery money <laughs> Can't shoot up. You know what I mean? Your parents are wealthy because they had that old 400 years of free labor. Wow. Many years, which has caused gentrification. All these lower income families have been pushed out to Stockton. Mm. Just like Antioch, Stockton is filled with people from East Oakland, Hunters Point, Richmond, East Palo Alto, and more gentrified neighborhoods. When they moved to Stockton, they realized wow, that Wow, so everybody's crazy. leaving because they said that niggas from Oakland, well, more LA, went to Sacramento. And the Bay, too. Mm. Dudes from the Bay went to Sacramento. Now people are moving to, yo, so everybody left, right? So how is it, guys? Like, how many family members you got from out of the Bay who left? Like, are, did you leave the Bay yet? Have you left? I know people, a lot of people going to Arizona. A lot of people going to Texas. People Vegas. Getting out of town. I would, personally, I'll probably do AZ or maybe Texas. Because I don't know about, like, Vegas and all that. But I would do Texas. Yeah, right? Yeah. Unlike in the Bay, where you associate with whatever block you're from, in Stockton, it's more about who you roll with rather City. than where you're from. That being said, it's still different than other cities like Antioch and Fairfield that had no crime before the Bay Area gentrification. Stockton had already established their streets before the Bay Area people started moving in. That's what makes Stockton so crazy. There are so many sides to it, I can't cover it all in one video. That brings me to the hottest group of rappers in Northern California. We're going to talk about who they are, who their rivals Job. are, and why they split up. But before we do that, let me run the they intro. Up. <laughs> let me introduce you to the EBK Hot Boys. These guys have completely taken over the rap scene. EBK stands for Everybody Kill Us. They're a rap and street group that is centered in Southeast Stockton, mm. specifically 2100 Nightingale Avenue. Yeah, I broke it down. I like broke down the code. I was like, so Lonely Gangsta, he mentions 2-1. Slowly mentions 2-1. And I was like a fucking build a science guy. Build another science guy. So now he says 2-1, 2-1, because 2100 is their block. I'm fucking smart, man. But they say Nightingale. Nightingale. Rhymes. No, you but said Gale. Not, I think it's Dale. I think it's not Gale. Okay. My bad, Pops. Centered in Southeast Stockton, specifically 2100 Nightingale Avenue. Although Wrong. Views they claim to just be a rap group, Stockton PD classified EBK as a gang in 2018. Mm. They also call themselves 2100 or Nightingale. Even though they recently formed, Stockton police say that they have become one of the most active groups in the 209. Let's talk about their rappers. EBK Young Jock is blowing up like crazy right now. His music is hard and he reps 2100 in it. That being said, no one knows exactly where he's from. In one interview, he said he's from Nightingale. In his next interview, he said he was from East Oakland. And then in his latest interview, he said he never lived around Nightingale, but lived in another part of Stockton called Weston Ranch. So let's just say he's from California. Yeah, we gotta do more Jock. We gotta do him by himself. Y'all been spamming that like they we mostly do more Young Jock. Because that was like because we did one of his songs with the collab with him, Briss Lobby. Remember that? Not guy? a dolo. Not a dolo. He killed that. So we gotta do him with. He got a song with Briss. We gotta do. He got a song, another solo that his biggest song. We gotta do. We gotta do him. Yeah, hit us up, man. Get on your DM us and tell us what song we should do. Yeah, two on nine. Another part of Stockton called Weston Ranch. So let's just say he's from California to be safe. John said that he grew up with both parents in the home, but when his brother tragically passed away, he turned to the streets. Oh, wow. He spent a good amount of time in juvenile before getting out and starting to rap. You can see what type of time he's on when you look in his eyes. Pause. Then you have Marcus Peters. I mean, Marcus Peters. I mean, EBK j -Po. He's the youngest of the group. The 17-year-old is from Nightingale. He grew up with both parents as well, but he turned to the streets when tragedy hit. January 4th, 2015. Jabo and his siblings were just kids playing at the park. Jabo was like <laughs> Look at Jabo, look at that with the glasses. When he was innocent, right? This is when he was <laughs> Jabo. Yeah, he just wanted to play football and go to McDonald's before he before he was a flag exterminator. Got a happy meal or something. Isn't it isn't it sad though, like to see like kids so innocent and they grow to be like demons by the time their testosterone hits and their puberty hits? Yeah, like, and I hope I hope. That he continues to kind of figure it out. Because when you're young, you make decisions and you got to live with them. No, that's a fact. And you make good ones, you make bad ones. Because we were always young. I was once young. I'm 67 years old. Jabo and his siblings were just kids playing at the park. Jabo was uh -huh. only 10 years old. That's when two teenagers, Lester Hands and Teddy Mahan, whip out on them and take their belongings. The teens were on a weekend pass out of Juvenile Hall when they decided to do this. Later that day, Jabo's father, who went by Rari, did his job as a father and went to go confront the teens who just stole from his no. children. 
That's when Lester Hands would whip out and take his life. Wow, that sucks. Wow. Jabo's dad was popular, well liked, and always regarded as a great father. This tragedy caused Jabo to jump off the porch at a young age. He actually spent the past couple years in juvenile hall. When he dropped his hit song Don Dada in 2018, he was only 15 years old. You probably know this song from the Hoff Twins documentary. Then you have young Sloby, who's from Nightingale as well. Sloby. He also spent some time growing up in San Diego. He's on oh, his wow. come up too, and his flow is crazy. It's only a matter of time before LA rappers start copying it. I'm just kidding. Look in his eyes though. I promise you, he's not someone you want to mess with. <laughs> Let's talk about Stockton real quick. Stockton is notorious for gang activity, and that's why you'll find it on the top 10 most dangerous cities list every year. There are 70 of them to be exact, but in this video, we're just going to talk about EBK and their rivals. Their first rival is called 44G in North Stockton. 44G, so that's the first gang. Damn, so Sloby was an older bro from the block, whatever, and he spent some, spent some time in San Diego. Mm. Yo, California is so big because you could leave your little city, your little bubble, whatever, and get away from the hood. Like, you could just go to San Diego and be like, all right, then I got you down shit. here. I'm done with that shit. Isn't that crazy? And I was, you no, know, like, a lot of people do that, but some people are really loyal to their hood. Yeah, man. they don't want to. And that's all they know, I'm, bro. I'm 67. I go back to my old hood. It's still dudes out there. Like, yo, I brought my block, y'all. 161, y'all. That's crazy. Sheesh. They operate out of the apartment complexes on 4400 Townhome Drive. These guys are big in numbers and have been very active in the past. They throw up fours, that's why you can see j crack fours in his music oh, okay. videos. EBK's other rival is in North Stockton as well. They're called NGSC and these guys roll deep. You remember that guy Jeremy Yo. Mooks who got famous for his mugshot? Well, he was a member of this gang, and he was known for putting in work. Wow, yeah, that guy went viral because he's like a model, like, pretty boy vibe, whatever, for his mugshot. So he's from Stockton. That's crazy. I didn't even know that. And he, he signed the model deal after that. You know, like, he got yeah. big. Yeah, he got big after oh, that. Oh, wow. Good for him. So, but who are they? Like, they don't have no rappers from that block? Because I don't know anybody from who's... And, and what does NGSC stand for? Yeah, I don't think he explained that. Took a huge blow after Stockton police dismantled them. Really? Oh, they got indicted as quiet. Live from Stockton with details. Macy! Macy! Pretty guy. Well, Sharon and Tony's police chief Eric Jones calls this a 360 approach to cutting down on gang activity. He says after countless hours of police work, the streets of Stockton are safer tonight. Mm -hmm. 23 people are behind bars tonight for possession of narcotics, conspiracy, theft, promoting well, gang activity. Yeah. The list goes on. Yeah, whenever, I feel like whenever there's conspiracy, this has to be a rat, right? It's a race. Whoever snitched first got the least time. <laughs> that shit is literally a race. Yo, like I, conspiracy. I never. We always discuss that. How like that's some bullshit, right? What conspiracy is? Mm -hmm. Like, what is it? Like, it's like I don't like that conspiracy shit. Yeah, they don't really got nothing on you. They just anticipate you can maybe talk about doing something, and then it's like, oh, we got you on conspiracy yeah. to do something. That's wild. Like, what? Sound like it's a threat. Sixty felony charges. Uh, this was an outstanding operation to dismantle EJ. Very violent. Uh, gang in Stockton. The operation came to a head on Wednesday after a round of raids throughout the city. And all I heard is boom, <laughs> holy police. <laughs> this man says officers rushed into his home early in the morning. In general, you never really know what's behind the music. Yeah, Some yeah. rappers lie about a lifestyle and no one really knows if they're from that or not. For example, the Migos have done this for over 10 years and people still haven't figured it out. EBK is dead. That's not, y'all, he don't know what he's talking about, bro. That's not true. Shot that's, all set, group. that's his favorite group. All set has like. Niggas is fake. RP takeoff. All set has like 20 mug shots, bro. And he was locked up a lot. When the Versace, Versace, he wasn't even there. It was I just know takeoff. a couple gangsters who got no mug shots because they don't get locked Ooh, up. Oh. So you don't know. Right. Wow, that's a deep one. Work they put in and the street life they grew okay. up in. Let me give you an example. They were on a mission to eliminate their Northside Stockton rivals in 2019. May 1st, 2019, EBK members would drive up to their rival territory in North Stockton. That's where they'd find 34-year-old Ronald Celestine. Oh, they would hop out of the car and take his life. Wow. EBK wasn't done though. Four days later, Ronald's family would host a candlelight in the same area he died. Those same EBK members would drive up to North Stockton again. And they would completely air it. Nah, out. they hit five people. And nah, five. that's demonic. That's like some next level. At the candle lighting, yeah. that the nigga, y'all yeah, yeah, man's already killed somebody. Y'all go back and spin that shit again. That's next level hatred. Like that's just like wow. You guys got it at wow. that point. Like, I'm, I'm a 
Wow, I'm a lost word. Yeah, I'm a lost at work. Wow, 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 wow. Well, Celestine's cousin Benny Lott would pass away. Stockton police His cousin died. Are going to get some more information on the victims tonight, saying that five people were shot here tonight. Two of them women, three of them men, and two of those men are in critical condition at an area hospital. Now we spoke with Stockton police officer Joseph Silva just moments ago. This area has been hit hard. <laughs> and officers say, given what's no happened shit, here, bro. they're definitely going to have a couple more patrol officers. <laughs> like Jared, look at this low budget ass. ass. <laughs> look at like Jared, the subway guy. He forgot to button his shirt all the way to the top, looking all sloppy. Yeah. Come on, man. Nah, he looks crazy. Come this on, is a man. low budget news station. Come but, on, man. You should have a tie on and all that, yo. You know what's funny? I'm about to say, you always tell me this too. Like, they know who did it, especially in a smaller city like Everybody this. Everybody know who did it. Yeah. But if they really scary dudes, ain't nobody talking. Yeah. I and of course this investigation yeah, these dudes are scared. Yeah. going around doing that. Hours. EBK wasn't ready to call it quits just yet. Two days later, they would pull back up to North Stockton and find two rivals on the same oh my block. God. They would hop out and dump off on both of them. Both would survive though. For a while, they thought they'd get away with it, but it would all come crashing down on June 20th, 2019. Nine EBK members would go down for it, but only three of them were responsible for the bodies. Brian Norman, Raymona Yo. Gaines, and Charles Prince would go nah, down for it. Nah, these are burnt out. Yo, y'all got some burnt out people in Stockton, boy. Y'all look crazy. Yeah, Ramona looked like she been through a lot. So Ramona looked like her name was Raymond Girl. before. <laughs> wow. But I don't know, man. Y'all need to like get it together, man. Get it together! Senseless violence, bro. They, they look like they're at the bottom of the bottom, right? They look yeah, crazy. The way this dude make a start to see was like, we ain't never going to start. Well, it's quiet. I'm good. Quiet. Norman, Raymona Gaines, and Charles Prince would go down for that. As the group would get more and more popular, things would fall apart. Young Jock's older brother, Hari B, would get arrested for selling something green. He made statements that would eventually get EBK Jabo's cousin in Oh, wow. The paperwork would be released, and this is where things get tricky. Just like with SOBRBE, it comes down to street principles versus family. This would cause a tear in the group because Young Jock still says free his brother Hari B, even though he has paperwork. Jabo was not happy about it. He was known in his song. Hari turned red, he couldn't take the heat. I told that nigga 20 years, he started eating kids. <laughs> they say no names, but just say you do a skit with me. And I'll go tell the police everything. That shit. But the homie said it's not telling. Is you really smoking out because I cannot smell Oh my god, is you really smoking out because then I can smell it? He said, they told him he gave him 20 years, he started eating cheese. Damn, Jock, so you, I mean, I'm not going to lie, if that was my, I'm not a street nigga, but if that was my cousin, I'd be like, yo, that's my cousin, bro, let him ride. <laughs> nah, but that was Jock's brother, Oh, um, be. No, his cousin. Whatever. His family, so he yeah. ride it with his family, man. Yeah, that is I true. mean, and that's his choice, and I respect that, And but we had like, we had, we covered the New York City scene, and these rappers or cousins and they were going at it yeah so it's kind of i guess an individual basis but i probably will go with family yeah because you don't know if you could turn on even either. though i do have some bitch ass cousins <laughs> day where do your loyalties lie to your, well, your brother, brother i told you it was the brother the streets. Oh. I don't no jabo's brother bro right? that's wait uh, am i smacked yeah, you smack. All right, that's his blood that's brother. Young Jock right there, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's his brother. Harry. Harry, Harry B. Harry. And then his cousin, it's confusing because Jabo's cousin, was his, that was his cousin who he searched on. He yeah. searched on Jabo's cousin. I got cousin. that part. We don't pay uh, attention. I'm 67 years old. Right. But like I said with the SOB video, some people are not going to respect that you're rapping about the street life, but not living by the codes. Then, to add fuel to the fire, Young Jock said in an interview that EBK is every brother counts, not everybody killers, and it's not the same as Jabo's EBK. Then, a Jabo song would be leaked where he says, I'm the real EBK. I'm the real EBK, the mother niggas knew. I've been trying to slither on the homies, but they might tell. The niggas playing both sides, might have to blitz the homies. Then things would get more tricky. Jabo would start making music and hanging with stubby members in Oakland. He would make songs with top stubby members Ace Rico and Short 200. Then they would go live together. Hey, bro, hey what does bro. that mean? Nigga, hey. I dropped a hundred for this nigga, G-O-D. Brother, know what's up with me. Then EBK Young Jock would start hanging out with The Case, who are Stubby's rivals. 
Then, to make all matters worse, EBK's North Stockton rivals diss Young Jock and Slovy. You niggas met each other last year, stop friend. Dropped the hundred at the hype and they popped nothing. Yeah, we showed up, parked this shit in them airbags, blowed up. I thought bros from the west, the one we rolled up. PC ass niggas, you are not tough. <laughs> Uh, he just wrote for them. He just slowly he just dropped there. He said, "Y'all from San Diego, one is from Oakland." But damn, that's some inner city, inner inner beef shit. Like, how you lick up with the other? That's dangerous, bro. Like, you can't do that. What we if we didn't know that? Well, we didn't know that. We thought EBK was all together, but I guess they split. They split right now. Cause so why would Jock lick up his ops? That's crazy. So, so EBK Slowby? My fault. Young Slowby. He's EBK, but his young name is Young Slowby. He passed. With no, it's J Bo was running with some Oakland niggas, and then Jock linked up with the other Oakland dudes, yeah, yeah. his ops, the Oakland dudes' that. ops. I got that guy. Yeah. So we had nothing to do with this. In response to this, J Bo's cousin would go to their block and post up to show that he isn't scared of them. Hopefully, EBK works out everything because they have huge potential to take over the rap scene. Like DJ Vlad always says, just leave your hometown. All the street stuff is not worth it. You don't have anything to prove to the streets. That bag will do the talking for true. itself. They should just hash out whatever issues they have and get to the money. Life is bigger than your hometown. Trust me, no one in Atlanta, Miami, or New York care if you're up on the score in Stockton. On that note, thank you for watching. Leave a like. Yeah, but it's that bubble. Watch. It's just that like that small mind, small world mindset. It's like kind of weird, right? It's like, bro, yeah. nobody knows about that gang shit. Like yeah, twenty yeah. minutes, twenty miles away, bro. Nobody knows. Nobody cares. No, they're in the moment. But damn, he didn't expect. I guess he put RP Slowby for clickbait at the end after he passed. I guess because he didn't even mention about Slowby dying. Yeah, well, he said he got to do multiple videos. But thanks for tuning in, yo. We out of here. <laughs> And I know how I get, so I got still on, I'm on my knot. I don't trust no nigga, I don't trust no man, ain't no friends, everybody get shot. You never know, how ain't gonna throw, I'm hitting the flow with a couple of shots. You better move, you better duck, either way to the go, you get got.